Hello Jumbo Mo, it's me Ilona underscore KE. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We thank the Lord for this evening. African episode. Today we are going to do something smart, making a delicious meal. But evening meal, our normal meal. Common normal meal here in Africa, Kenya. That is what? Comment down below and tell me what it is. So our vegetables will be sebebe. This one is um, pumpkin leaves. A very nutritious, a very nutritious vegetable. And whenever we are collecting, I have collected some of them here off camera. Then I decided to share this video with you so that you can see the way we prepare our vegetables. We prepare this sebebe, sebebe, ni sepepe. And then we always take this uh, small, uh, the young ones, which are very, very nutritious. Not the old ones. Majoagi mm Ogonya is? -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. this one. Jongar mm Ngarel. -hmm. Yes. So, like this one. <laughs> Fresh ones. Then we go and cut them. We cook ugali. We wash them first. Then we will cook uh, ugali. You see? The young ones. Young, young ones. This one will also produce pumpkin. You see, they are starting to flower. Yeah. Flowering. The flowers, yeah. and here they will uh, they will produce pumpkin. <laughs> so let's go cut our vegetables. Then we will wash, cut them, and uh, cook ugali. Then be part and parcel of our video. Enjoy the African life, the African lifestyle. Africa videos, wonderful. So let's do this together. Enjoy the, the hand and remember to subscribe, comment, share, and like the video. I'm going to watch this and start cutting. The process continues. So we want to wash our uh, pumpkin leaves. But before we wash them, we remove this, these ropes. You see? It's done like this. We remove this kind of ropes. Then we wash them. Then we start cutting. Evening routine. We always have to prepare food for the family. So we remove this kind of ropes. We cut this to be small. We remove this kind of... Do we call them ropes or what do we call now? This way. Easy, easy job. Then we wash. Then we cut. Chopping of vegetables. I think it is well. So, enjoying the African life. Very wonderful, you see? It comes out very easily. For me, it has been quite some time when I am preparing this uh, pine, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin leaves. So, it's good to always remind ourselves this kind of beauty. Do the bitter. Why do we have to remove this one? You can comment down below and tell us why should we remove this kind of small drops here. Then we wash them, then we chop them. Then we cook our normal delicious meal. Yes. I want them here. Yeah. Washing of uh, vegetable is very important because we just collected them. And they are very fresh. Collected from home garden. Very fresh. 
fresh. Don't require to go and buy these ones. You only plant your own uh, pumpkin. As you wait for the pumpkin to be ready, you eat the you eat the leaves. Pumpkin leaves, very nutritious. And mm. then the pumpkin with pumpkin itself. So let's cook our ugali, which we'll eat with our fetus. When cooking ugali, we always put the fireplace, we have a fireplace like this one, and we add some firewood. And the water is already boiling. The water should be fully boiled, 100 degrees. So let me open, you see? It's bubbling. And this water seems like uh, ready. Niminga pasi mingi kwajatu. Then we add our, this one is our flour. Our maize flour. You remember the maize which we took the portion in? So we have already grinded them. And we have the maize flour. Then we cook our ugali. It will wait in the dog. We cook our ugali. Woo! Our lights have gone off. Let's make our lights come back. I guess it's very dark. Anyway, let me cook the ugali as we arrange for the light to come back. We have to do the enforcement of light. Let's see. Hoo -hoo. Watch out. Our source of light went off. So the first process of cooking ugali, we continue the off camera. But now, we are here. We are eating today brown ugali. Ugali which is mixed with uh, maize, mixed with millet. Very nutritious. Very traditional ugali. This is how we cook our ugali. This is a meal. We only use hot water and uh, flour. Flour. From maize and uh, we mix with millet. That's why it's a bit brown. And we need fire. Fireplace. Then it's only a matter of mixing, stirring, stirring, and everything comes well. So this one is almost ready. So I will close it and leave it to cook this way. Very smart. You see? This is how we cook our ugali. Very nutritious. It's only st stirring it and mixing it this way, and then we leave it to cook. To cook to be perfect. So as it cooks, yeah, I'll transfer it here. Then I cook the fetches. Yeah. Exchange program. We do the exchange program. I need some. I need some. I'm looking for peppers to use to hold. Here it is. We do exchange program. Our girl is cooking there. As we cook our fetches, Muganga is missing. The muikos. Then we will put the tomatoes and then we go and bring the muiko stirring stick. So we are frying our vegetables and sometimes the fire brings uh, noxy. So we have this kind of pipe for lighting the fire. We do like this. Opening of lungs. Wow, it's there. Easy and clear. Work made issue. So we are frying our vegetables. Here it is. This hot pot will put to garlic, the other one will put vegetables. Here it is. 
So it's only a matter of putting them here as we fry. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the African pipes. This is what I love doing. Ooh, it wants to fall down. Corrode. So we correct that one and we continue. This is reality. This is how it is done. Correction as we go. In life, be yourself. That's always what I love say. In life, be yourself. Do what you love doing. Okay? Uh -huh. Do what you love doing. So let me put the fetches here. Then we fry. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the African life. Frying of our vegetables. Sometimes this fire may bring its issues. We are doing things the traditional way. The easiest way it does not require a lot of things. Remember, our grandmother has never had a lot of things. So, we can do these things to remember the time when they used to make for us vegetables. And they are very delicious. So, and our ugali is cooking here. We can pip. We pip the ugali. Wow. Very smart. Whenever you do something, do what you love doing. So we are also going to cook something else here. So let me put there. Then we will cook it. We fry these fetches of ours. The African women can multitask. Doing several things at the same time. So, now we are cooking fetches and the ugali is ready. Multitasking. It's also a way of saving time. You can multitask. Someone can be holding the baby, cooking, washing utensils, a lot of things at the same time. So, never take something for granted. If you are privileged, never take it for granted. Appreciate that small steps in life and always be thankful. Be thankful and remember the humble beginnings. So, and when you are privileged to get food, always be thankful. So our veggies are cooking as the ugali also is cooking. I was also thinking that we can add some omena. Okay. This one's here. Mama. Our vegetables are ready, so we add some cream, meat cream. Our cream we get it directly from the, the the milk we get it directly from the cow. Then we boil and then we get the cream and we add to the fetches. Salivating oh very nutritious. Very nutritious. Then we will. I decided to add some um, omena. The small, small, small fish. Yeah. I decided to cook them also so that if someone don't eat the baby, they will eat omena. This is very nutritious. So let me exchange this one. We do like this exchange program. Let's pip our ugali. Where? African village life. This is reality. Our ugali is almost ready. It's almost ready. 
Well, 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 very smart. Very smart. So we just do like this, changing, changing, then we serve it to the, the serving pots. When you have food on your table, be grateful. Enjoy. Our ugali is ready. Our vegetables are ready. Let me still put it here a bit. Then we will serve them to the pot. And then the ugali is ready. This is what every African woman does in their homes. Cooking of ugali, cooking of vegetables, cooking of omenam. Cooking of kideri, rice, dengu, maragwe, beans, peas. Those are the food which we eat here in Africa. Sweet potatoes, cassava, cabbage. Very smart. Porridge, African porridge. The one which we use uh, millet, sorghum, and cassava. And sometimes also they add the, they can also grind this omena to make porridge for children. Very nutritious and some people eat them even raw. So let me serve this ugali to the pots and then kasi na enderea. Enjoy the video, you know. This is what I love doing when I am home. You should enjoy doing something, you know. And this one also is to remind you, remind me the humble beginnings. Never take something for granted. If you are using a car, never take it for granted. If you are using electricity, never take it for granted. If you are using firewood and you are firewood, never take it for granted. Always be thankful. Because I am here to inspire you and encourage you and we have fun. If you do something and you love it in your heart, it will not be very difficult. So, we are serving our ugali. We do like this. Let me show you. We put here. The small ugali. We serve them here. Slowly, slowly. Then the rest one we put on the pit pot. Mm -hmm. The ugali is very ready. It has been quite some time cooking ugali, but when something learned, when you have learned something, you will never forget. It should be put nicely for it to be presentable. You know, this one is ready. They always say, when you cook something, put something small aside. Here in Africa, a visitor can arrive any minute. You never know. That's why you should have a small ugali somewhere. Let's reduce the fire. Then this other one, we will put it on this big pot. Easily, so I'm going to remove this ugali and put it here. This big pot, enjoy the video for those who are missing Africa, Kenya. If you are living in a, uh, abroad countries, enjoy the video. We will soon eat the Moriat. And our vegetables are ready. So, let me put the vegetables aside for it to maintain the vitamins. Wonderful. Yes. Our ugali is ready. And we always have this 
In our language, we call it moriot. Very nutritious one. It's very sweet when we eat it in the morning with tea. I remember when I was young, they always, they always say, they always, they used to tell us that the first person to wake up in the morning will eat it after putting uh, the fireplace to be, after lighting the fireplace. So, this is it. It, it needs a spoon. Then we will remove it. Otherwise, it can also be removed with the arm. Very smart and very nutritious. Woo! Enjoy. Thank you. Let's cook our omena now. Our vegetable is ready. So we put them here. Wonderful. Very smart. Very sweet. Very delicious. You see? Woo. Then we do our omena. Then we put this one is ready. Ready to be served. This is reality. Nothing nothing new or nothing less. I have everything with me here. So, uh, there is someone who has brought a plate for this one. So, we just serve it like this. Then they enjoy. Very nutritious. This one we, was, the time I was young, we always, uh, we always used to go to our grandmother's place because that is where most of these things were. Available. It does not mean that in our home we didn't have for garlic. But when your grandmother gives you this one, Moriot, it tastes more, much better. No, yeah, it's true. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, let's continue cooking. So, thank you. Here we have our omena. In English, small fish, I don't know. In Swahili, we call it omena. But in Finnish, omena is uh, the apple. 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 So, when we are collecting this uh, small fish, I want us to cook it. So, we have to collect the, the dirty ones. Which is which does not fit here, for example, this one goes there, and oh, it's very much. And then it has to be washed with hot water. I have already selected them, we wash them with hot water, then we fry onions, onions, and tomatoes. Some people like adding it a uh, cream, some don't. It depends with the taste of a person. I had already selected this and that's why you're seeing me putting them here. Just this way. Then we will do add hot water. I have cold water here. Then we wash them. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. No. We have to fry our onions and tomatoes. Enjoy this African episode. Enjoy, yes. Can you watch this? Let me put the water here. Mm -hmm. Wash them two times. Washing it to remove uh, the smoke. You see the smoke? 
de de rufu, de smel. Umeiba, uuuu. It is burning very fast. The fire is too fast, too fast. Then we add some tomatoes. We are doing a quick one. Quick supper. It comes very fast. We are doing quick, quick. African life, beautiful life. I had to reduce the fire because it was too fast. The onions are burning. And then we add some salt. Enjoying the fight. We have to see that we don't add a lot of salt. We add salt to taste. We don't need to add a lot of spices. We can add some coriander. Dania? So, here it is. And then we can now add our fire. Wonderful. Legit. This one is used for removing the sufuria from the fireplace or we use this one kamata or we use this one hmm? two directions the other direction too but this one can be also used peppers so enjoy 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 the delicious meal evening meal so let's try this then we will eat thank you so much subscribe to my youtube channel i'm very much humbled to to do this video for you never take something for granted remember your humble beginnings so tomatoes and, and onions are ready then we add this we add our omena very special this one is very special me when you serve a mena it's very special we put them we fry them then our food will be ready to be eaten you see the fire is when it's we don't have to use a lot of uh, firewood this one is very much ready, very soon. Just try it. With no, don't use a lot of force. Slowly, so that it does not break and become porridge. For the porridge and the candle, we do like this. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Some people like adding a... Um, some people like adding cream, milk cream. We say it in Finnish, kerma. And don't like adding. For those who are traveling abroad, take some omena with you. Link. <coughs> Mwa Kenya. Very smart. So, very soon I will start eating here. We don't have to go anywhere. We can start eating even now because it's, it's salivating. Wonderful. It is very smart. Very sweet. So, please comment down below. What's your step of food? Which 
food do you like eating with ugali? Which vegetable do you like eating with it? We la we have those who love meat stew, others love vegetables, others love love kales, and we have the managu, the African um, vegetable like managu, derema, isaga, socho, socho is the managu. So enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Our omena is ready. We do it dry. Very nutritious. Still my cup out there. Turn it to cooler. That time we gonna pour it. Twende ugali. Ugali eh? Ugali ah.